Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Erica with Memory Box Candle Co. And I make videos all about the journey of starting a candle business. And today's video, I am gonna be doing an update to my previous video that I made two years ago, I think it was, right around two years ago, where I was talking about my most uh, popular fragrances, my best selling scents that I have. And I knew that I wanted to do an update on this video, so that is what we are going to do in today's video. I am going to reveal my top 10 best selling scents on my Shopify website. And this is, um, I wanna say, pretty much for 2022 and 2023. Um, I haven't noticed too much of a change. These are just the best sellers. And let's go ahead and get right into it. So I am going to start with number 10 and then work my way up all the way to number one. So I am gonna show you the exact oils and all that kind of stuff. So um, this scent right here is called Jamaica Me Crazy. And this one is from California Candle Supply, but I believe this is one of the kind of scents that you can actually get from a lot of other suppliers. I believe that Candle Science has it. I think that there's a couple other candle suppliers that have it as well. And this one, gosh, I love it so much. I love any kind of fruity scents. That's definitely my go-to when it comes to candles. That and more like masculine kind of scents. Chris really loves this one. We call it Vacation Island on our website. And it is that pina colada, you know, pineapple coconut blend. And it's really, really good. And it's just a classic and so many people like it. The number nine spot goes to a custom blend that I had created way back when. So it is a blend of California Candle Supplies Mahogany Teakwood as well as Aztec Tobacco. Now, if you know anything about me or my channel or anything, I'm not typically a huge Aztec supplier fan. Um, this is really the only oil and the only product that I use from them. Um, and that's just personal preference. I've tried a bunch of their other oils um, in the past and I just wasn't really impressed with them. However, I love this tobacco scent. This tobacco scent makes with the mahogany gives me the perfect blend that I had always looked for. So this scent um, I call is the DJ and it's based on my dad. Um, so it just reminded me of when he was a DJ, uh, when I was growing up and he always smelled like t uh, tobacco, cigarettes mainly, but of course I'm not gonna have a candle smell like cigarettes, but tobacco and cologne. So that was kind of my rendition of that. And um, a lot of people like it, especially when we're at markets. There are certain market events where the DJ sells out and so many people love it. Um, it's very common with men. A lot of men really like it. Um, and then also with women as well. A lot of women really like that scent, but there's something about kind of that masculine blended with the tobacco that kind of creates just a really nice masculine fragrance. The number eight spot is also a custom blend. And looking at these, I was very happy to see that three of these were actually a custom blend, which that was something that I wish I would have done earlier on in my candle business, was doing a lot more custom blends with my candle scents. But the majority of the rest of them are just the pre-blends that you can purchase. Um, but I was very happy to be able to create this blend. So this is Dragon's Blood and then Patchouli Rosewood. These are both from California Candle Supply. Um, again, with Dragon's Blood, I believe that that is a scent that you can get uh, at a lot of other suppliers, but they are my home supplier, my closest supplier that I've been using for so long. So um, it's just cheaper for me to get a lot of the oils from them, especially if they're oils that you can kind of get from a bunch of different companies. But I do a blend of those ones together and it's just to create something a little bit different than just like that straight dragon's blood. It is primarily the dragon's blood. And if you're not too familiar with what that is, um, it's like a patchouli scent, but it's very much like if you were to walk into a smoke shop, you smell the incense, that kind of smell. That's what that one is kind of based around and what it smells like. And that one on my website is called Mystic Visions and it's based off of when I met Chris working at a body jewelry shop. They always had incense burning and it smelled exactly like that to me. Um, so that is number eight on the list and that is really popular with people a lot more than what I thought to be honest. 
I didn't know that there were so many people that really liked patchouli. I had always thought that so many people didn't like patchouli. I had heard kind of more on the side of people who would kind of be outspoken about not liking it more than people being outspoken about liking it. But trust me, whether or not it's a scent that you personally like, you have to be able to offer a wide variety of different scents available because so many people have so many different preferences. Number seven on the list is a scent that I have been using since pretty much the very beginning of candle making. It's called Beechwood. And initially when I got this scent to try out, it was to make a candle specifically for one of my best friends. This was back when I was working as a receptionist at my old job. And this one is very, very beachy. It has eucalyptus in it, so it brings out kind of a freshness to that beachiness. And um, it does really, really well. A lot of people really like it, especially at markets. Just like the DJ at markets, that scent does really well on certain days. Um, and a lot of people that are kind of in between my beachy scents, I notice a lot of the time that people tend to gravitate more towards the Beachwood, which we call Coastal Highway on the website and um, a lot of people just really like it. And that one is from The Flaming Candle. Number six on my list of best-selling fragrances is Candle Science's Sea Minerals. This is another one that I have been using for quite some time now, and I have been between that one and their High Tide scent in the beginning, and I just really liked the, the smell of the sea minerals one. And again, one of my best friends, she loves the beachy kind of scent. So I had her kind of give me feedback on those from the very beginning. And I'm really glad because if you can find somebody who likes or typically likes a certain kind of scent, they can give you feedback on what scent you should choose for your line. I think that that is a really good way to go about it. And a lot of people, obviously, I know I keep saying that a lot of people really like that. Obviously those are all in the top and I noticed that I keep saying that, but if you are offering you know, a certain kind of scent and you wanna make sure that you are choosing the best one possible for that, it doesn't mean that all of these if you sell them that automatically they're gonna be best sellers for you. Every business is completely different. And as we know, there are thousands of different scents to choose from. So this is just my personal experience with my branding, my business and all of that. Um, but Sea Minerals does really well. It's number six on the list. Number five on the list is another custom creation that I did. So these are both from California Candle Supply and we have good old Love Spell as well as Sweet Pea. Now, I had played around one day years ago and decided to blend those together, and I'm so glad I did. It just creates such a lovely blend of both of them. It's very feminine. It's a little bit more on the subtle side. It's not as crazy strong as, let's say, like Beechwood. Beechwood is super strong. Um, so it's a little bit more mellow, but I've noticed a lot of people really like that one. Um, and that comes in at number five on the list. Coming in at number four is White Sage and Lavender. And this is again from Candle Science. And I think they have a couple different lavender scents. I think I tried the regular lavender, White Sage and Lavender. Um, and there was something about this one that I really liked. It just kind of gave more of that earthy kind of background of the lavender scent. And it was something a little bit more unique than just like the straight lavender. But trust me, there are so many people that love lavender. I'm not really one of those people, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of florals, um, but I understand that people really like it. Um, and obviously they like it enough to have it at number four. Number three, another custom blend between two different coffee scents. Now, if you've tried any kind of coffee scent um, out there, fragrance oil wise, you know that they all smell very, very different. And I had kind of worked to figure out what was kind of a good way to be able to get the ideal coffee scent that I was looking for. So we have Coffee House from The Flaming Candle, and then we have Fresh Coffee from Candle Science. And Candle Science actually just recently came out with a new coffee scent called Coffee Shop. And that one, it's okay. Um, it's it's not one of my favorite coffee scents. Um, I definitely don't like it more than this, but it does have a different uniqueness to it. Um, there are also other coffee fragrances that are, are, that are like hazelnut coffee 
or like a caramel macchiato kind of thing. Um, and those ones are really nice. Um, but I had kind of worked to figure out, you know, what is the best kind of coffee scent that I can come up with? Because just like vanilla, I feel like coffee can be a little bit difficult to get right. Um, but this one on the website we call Malibu Coffee Shop. Um, based on the memory of when I first started dating Chris, he was working at a coffee shop and come home and would come home smelling like coffee. So that is the memory behind that one. But that comes in at number three. My second best selling fragrance. Now this is from Candle Cocoon and I have not talked about them yet. I did make a whole video about them. I think I did a fragrance oil review. This one is called Surf's Up and it is just the most unique beachy fragrance I've ever smelled. I still love this fragrance. I love watching people smell this fragrance when we're at markets because they definitely pick up on that surf wax. And it also, it's like a blend of surf wax and like vanilla coconut suntan lotion. And it definitely brings out nostalgia and different feelings for a lot of people, which is again, kind of the whole idea behind my brand and my business. So um, the fact that this one is a bestseller does not surprise me at all in any way. And it's also very interesting that um, my only three beachy scents that I have are in the top 10 of my bestsellers, which also doesn't surprise me because I know that beachy masculine kind of fragrances are a very commonly liked fragrance. But the fact that Golden State, um, which is what we call Surf's Up, which is what it is on our website, the fact that that is number two does not surprise me at all. And it makes me so happy because it's such a good scent. And then if you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you probably know what my best seller is. My best seller has been my best seller since pretty much day one of opening my candle business. And that is Fruit Loops from the Flaming Candle. So this is your Fruit Loops or Fruity Pebble scent. People cannot get enough of that one. Let me tell you, my best friend is obsessed with this scent. Um, I personally, over the years, have kind of gotten sick of it a little bit, especially when it's burning. I can't really stand it, but it's okay. A lot of people really love it. Um, and most people that are purchasing are not, you know, candle makers. So they just are lighting the candle and they don't have 12,000 other scents going on in the house at the same time, plus a burning candle. But um, we call it Saturday morning cartoons and people love it at markets, online. It has still always been one of the best selling fragrances that we sell. And it's always really fun to see the look on people's faces when they smell it at the market, because you can kind of see this little light bulb click on, on in their head, they smell it and then they go, wait a second, that smells so familiar. What is that? Cereal, cereal. You know, I've gotten uh, Fruit Loops, Fruity Pebbles, Trix, Lemon Cake, uh, and I think something else before, but it's kind of right around that lemon or cereal kind of scent. Um, and people freaking love this scent. So there you have it, my updated 2023 top 10 best selling candle scents on my website. Um, pretty much for the past, I don't know, at least a year, year and a half on my website. Um, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you found it interesting and in hearing my personal perspective and my personal experience. And again, just so you know, just because these are best sellers for me, it doesn't mean that if you do this exact same thing, that it's going to be best sellers for you. So, so many people have so many best sellers. These are not just all the best sellers. I mean, if you go on any candle forum or Facebook group, I mean, people will be talking about that they have so many different other candle scents that work for them and their business and that are best sellers for them. So this is just my personal experience, but I wanted to share it with you because um, I always have fun making these videos and I've been meaning to make it for a while. Um, and I really hope that you enjoyed. So if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram at Memory Box Candle Co. And I will see you in my next video.